Okay, update on my weekend. It was kick ass. I saw two films from the LGBT Film Festival in Portland. Both of them I enjoyed quite a bit. One of them was fan fucking tastic. Absolutely phenomenal. It was called We're the World Mine. The premise behind it is that these high school students, they're all boys, uh, they're in an all boys private high school, are required to participate in the senior production of A Midsummer Night's Dream. And the openly gay boy, uh, who's sort of tormented a little bit by the other kids, is cast as Puck. While practicing his lines, the main character stumbles across uh, a hidden formula for a love potion in the lines of Shakespeare's play and ends up uh, putting this love enchantment that his character Puck puts on the other characters. He puts that on the other people around him in the community and uh, I guess you can imagine the kind of fun that ensues at that point, uh, especially when he uh, uses this on the, the, uh, the hot jock who he finds kind of attractive. It's uh, going through the film circuit right now, and maybe it'll be on DVD. Great music. Actually, the music was so good that I went and looked it up the composer when I got home. Jessica Fogel is her name, and um, I had a hard time finding a lot on her. It doesn't look like she has a lot of music out there. just makes me kind of feel uplifted watching this movie. Usually I don't like to see a movie again after I've seen it once, especially not right away, but this one I would see it again right now. The other one I saw was called Auto, or Up With Dead People. It's a gay zombie film. Kind of different. You know, one of the things I really hate about gay films is they use the same tired tropes over and over again. It was a film about a gay zombie who goes and auditions to be in a film about gay zombies. And the director of the, of the film within this film, her name's Medea, thinks that he's just this schizophrenic guy who thinks he's a zombie, but he would be perfect to be in her zombie movie. And it has lots of interesting political commentary that is sort of wrapped up uh, and presented as her sort of eccentric, artistic uh, bullshit, basically, where she says things like, oh, mainstream society is so completely dysfunctional, and the only way to be functional in, in a dysfunctional society is to appear to be dysfunctional to other people in the society. Hence, the homosexuals are the only ones who are functional in this dysfunctional society of robot-like zombies who go through their days totally unconscious and unaware of what they're really doing. And so, those who seem like, uh, who seem like zombies because they're, they're strange and different, are actually the only ones who are really alive. Or something kind of like that. That was the gist of what my interpretation of what her words were. Interesting idea. I thought they did a good job in that, in that respect of balancing, making her sound kind of bullshitty, but also kind of plausible. Like you can kind of see where she's coming from in an artistic perspective. And so I guess she may have been speaking for the, the real director of the film in that respect. Uh, also interesting, her girlfriend was a character out of a silent movie. So uh, wherever her girlfriend walked, the background turned kind of black and white and um, it had like little bits of, of, of dust like in an old reel of film that shows up on the screen. And when she talked, you just saw her lips move and then words appeared on the screen, just like in an old film. It was kind of an interesting idea. Maybe I'll figure it out at some point what the purpose of that was. The acting, a little bit, uh, 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 some was, was, was pretty good, some was, uh, um, also, and I, I hate to criticize this because I'm a total amateur at this stuff, but the video cinematography, mmm, left a little something to be desired. Uh, you could tell it was done on a digital video camera. Now, I'm doing this video blog post on digital video camera, but I'm, like, less than amateur, and these are, in theory, professionals, so... I don't know. I wouldn't be able to do as good a job as they can at this point. I hope I can get better. C'est la vie. Overall, I liked it. It was definitely worth seeing. Kind of a unique take, um, at least superficially, the whole zombie thing. A friend of mine who saw it with me felt that it was maybe uh, the underlying tropes were still the same, that it was just kind of a, uh, uh, what did he say, it was a coming out story. I didn't see a clear parallel to one of the hackneyed themes of gay films. So, two movie reviews. Uh, I would recommend them both. And I guess that's it.
Bye.